the most popular thing that you have on your menu, is it a Big Mac or a Quarter Pounder or the French fries? Well, I mean, from a volume standpoint, the fries are by far the biggest. Uh, within sandwiches, probably the Big Mac. It does vary a little bit around the world, but, but the Big Mac is probably uh, up there. Well, the fries are intoxicatingly uh, difficult to avoid eating once you start one. Yep. Can you tell us what's the secret? What do you put in the, in the batter or the cooking oil or whatever you do that is the secret? Or is it the potatoes? What, what is well, it we, have a, we have a room here that I haven't taken you to that has all the secrets on that. But I would just say there's, there's a lot of things that go into it. It's starting with um, you know, where we get the potatoes from, and we have proprietary relationships with that, how those uh, potatoes are then processed, uh, what we will put on those potatoes, and then ultimately how they're cooked in the restaurant, uh, the, the cooking oil that we use, the amount of salt that we use. So there's a lot of things that go into the secret recipe. But some people say that your Coca-Cola is made in a certain way that's better than the Coca-Cola you buy in the bottle. So what is it that you do that's different with your Coca-Cola? So I would agree, I think it's better. Um, one of the things that we have as an advantage is because of the volumes that we do in our restaurant, um, our volumes tend to be higher than, than anybody else out there. It allows us to buy equipment that is able to be titrated or calibrated more precisely than maybe some of our competitors. And so what we're able to do because of the equipment that we're able to buy, which is more expensive equipment, is we're able to deliver what Coke would describe as their gold standard product on a more consistent basis than somebody who maybe has inferior equipment in their restaurant.